Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. And we are up here at the coal plant because currently this is the only bit that's working. We've had a shutdown of our power. Um, so obviously we've got some kind of blockage somewhere. I've come up here first to make sure it's not here. Uh, I've disconnected this from the, the main supplies. Oops, sorry. I've disconnected this area from the main supply um, and got it up and running again. So that's a start. So I'm going to head down to the main base now that I've got the hypertubes working again because I had to walk all the way up here. Um, and then I think... We'll either go out to the uh, aluminium end or to the uh, oil fields over there um, and see if we can get one of those running. So I will dive back through here and I will catch up with you when I've decided which way we're going. Um, yeah, this is going to be, I think, this whole episode is probably going to be trying to fix the power. Uh, I don't know if it's because we've added a bit to the production. We did have plenty of spare power um, not very long ago. We've added a few bits and pieces here and there. Uh, a couple more production lines, but that shouldn't have eaten up all of our extra power, so I suspect that it's actually shut down because there's too much plastic or, you know, something's blocking the production. Yeah. We're going to have to walk everywhere now. Right. Um... Which is closer, then? I mean, it's pretty much of a muchness, to be honest. Um, I'll head out to the oil field over there first. Uh, and I'll come back in, like, 20 minutes when I've walked there. Okay, well, coming along here, we can see the uh, oil production just off in the haze over there. And judging from the fact that this conveyor line is still packed with plastic and rubber... I'm beginning to suspect that the problem is we have entirely blocked up with plastic and rubber at the other end. So, we are obviously not using enough or we are producing too much. Either way, it's a problem. So, what are we going to do? Well, in the short term, we can feed some of it off into storage. But that is very much a short-term fix. Now, what is it we are built? I'm going to have to go back to the to the main base shortly and and figure out what it is we're um, using plastic and rubber for and up the production on that presumably. So, yeah, all this is just completely blocked up. I mean, there's still smoke coming from one of those generators, so it looks like something might still be running. Or at least that generator is still trying to produce power. Okay, right. Oops, that's not the button I wanted to press. You are full of plastic. Let's steal some of your plastic. Uh, same goes for you. Same, yeah, everything is just blocked up, isn't it? Right. Um... We've got plastic and rubber coming out over here as well. Yeah, everything is just crammed full, isn't it? Right. What are we going to do with all of this? Well, I suppose the obvious solution, or an obvious solution, would be to just set up a whole bunch of storage for it to run through first, or split off half of it to go into storage. Um, yeah, this seems like the perfect spot, doesn't it? Oh, come on. There we go, and... Uh, no, let's keep coming out this way, I think. Uh, 
like so. That's a start. And we will get rid of that. And get rid of that. In fact, we'll get rid of that as well. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's... Uh, what are you? You're Mark II. That's fine. Okay, let's bring it up to there. And then... How many can we build? Uh, a few. So we will put... Where does it come in? Um... Okay, no, you know what? Let's actually not waste all this space. Um, that was wrong. Every time when I build these storage containers, I put them the wrong way around. Every single time. Um... Yes, and then we'll do that. And then we'll do... That, and then we will do that. Yes, okay, right. Sorry, had to really think about that. So we'll loop that around there. Um, out and in. Then here we will put in... A conveyor lift. No, turn around. Like that. So it goes in. That side comes out into there. Then up into there. Oops. Thank you, autosave. And then... Um, into there like that. And then... Oh, you're right in the middle, aren't you? That's not ideal. But never mind. We will come on. There we go. There. And down there. And down there. Okay, yep, that works. And then we'll bring this. You are kidding me. What do I have over here? Do I have anything over here of use? No, not really. Right, I'll grab some uh, reinforced iron plates and then I'll be back. Right, there we go. So that should hopefully at least start some things moving. That's emptying out all of that. Right, the question is then... If I disconnect that... Can we restart things? No, is the answer to that. Why not? What are we... Hmm. We don't have enough to kickstart things, maybe. Right, do we have any biomass burners up here? I don't think we do. Do we need those to sort of prime the pumps, as it were, to get things running? I think we probably do. Um, let's have a look. All right, what have we got? Hmm. 
maximum consumption of 784 on this section. Right. Do we have enough to make a bunch of these? Uh, yeah, we can make four. That's probably not going to be anywhere near enough. I don't have any biofuel on me anyway. Right, I'm going to have to dash back. I'm going to have to dash back. I say dash back. I'm going to have to walk all the way back to the main base, unload some of the resources I've got on me, get enough together to make what I need to, which is going to be a bunch of biomass burners, I think. Yeah. Okay, I will do that, and then I will be back again. Okay, well, as you can see, I have turned on the power up here after several failed attempts. Um, we have one or two biomass burners up here. Um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen. Uh, we've got twenty up here. Um, why aren't you doing anything? You're not connected. Okay, where can we connect you? Um, there we go, we'll upgrade that and connect to there. Okay, so that should actually help a little bit. In theory. It's a little wobbly, isn't it? Right, uh, what I have done is I've actually turned off... Thank you, autosave. Uh, I've actually turned off the uh, refineries here. So let's get those back on. So at least start to... What do you mean no power? I've just turned you on. Um... I didn't disconnect you. Did I? Now, where's the power that you are connected to? You must be connected somewhere. Are you not? You're not. I really don't remember disconnecting you from the power, but obviously I did. Um, come on, let me get through. Thank you. Okay, so that's now producing. That can start producing. Whoops. Uh, let's check our power. Okay, we're doing all right. Our consumption's... Ooh, okay. Keeps jumping. But we're all right. All right, okay. Okay, okay. So let's turn this one on. And this one on. And that should keep the polymer lines from blocking up again. Uh, and if we come across here, I'm going to need to do the same over here. Because I switched these off as well. Okay, right. So, that has given us our power back up here as well. So, that's now two of the power plants up and running. Um, we've got a little bit of storage here to stop us from blocking up. Um, but what I'm going to need to do is dash back to um, the central hub. And I think I'm going to need... Because what I've done, um, I've put in uh, an awesome sink um, on this line. 
um, in order to sort of take the overflow. In fact, I could do the same here, can I? Can I build an awesome sink? Yes, I can. Can I build a smart splitter? Yes, I can. Okay, let's do that. Right. We'll put you on there. That's really the wrong place, isn't it? Come on. Try that again. We'll put you on there. We will get rid of this bit of wall. And we will build out a little platform there. That's probably big enough for an awesome sink. Uh, no, it's not because it's too close to that. All right, okay, fair enough. That is that is fair enough. Okay, we'll get rid of this as well, and we'll stick our awesome sink in there. And then we'll put our uh, smart splitter Um, where is it lining up? About there. And then this will overflow, and then we need power. Okay. We'll get rid of you. So, that will stop us from blocking up here. That's great. Right. That's all running. Now what I will do is... Go up to the next power plant. This is fun, isn't it? Here I am at the uh, aluminium end, as it, as it were. Uh, all I've done is disconnect this section from the power and turn it back on. And it's running fine. Uh, I've put in an awesome sink to take away some of this excess packaged fuel that is blocking up the line here. Uh, whoops, no, didn't want to do that. Come on. There we are. That's the least obtrusive thing I can hold. Uh, I might come back at some point and do the same with, or, or change this setup uh, and take the plastic as well. Depends on how quickly that gets blocked up, but it looks like we're doing okay at the moment. Um, we still have a fair amount coming in, and that is going to build up as the production picks up over here. So, that is our three power stations back up and running. And there are things put in place to stop any blockages. So, I'm going to connect this up. This is going to stop it working, because I doubt this end has enough power to... to um, power itself and the hub um, but I'm going to connect this up and then I'll go round yep there we go everything's just died uh, I will go round and I will connect up the other two power stations and then we'll turn it on and see if it works if not we're going to need to put in some more power a lot more power okay then here we are back up at the uh uh, oil field up here. Everything's still running because I haven't connected it up yet. So, this is almost certainly going to kill everything. Yeah. Okay. Now. What is the problem? Our consumption is double our capacity. Except now, we seem to be working at full capacity. And everything seems to be fine. And it's, a, it's fluctuating a little bit, but we seem to be okay. 
Right, well, hopefully that and the fact that we are splitting some off here. Uh, this is going to keep moving for a little while because I have put another one of these on the other end of the line, which I will now go and disconnect, I think. Because we only need one and it's better up this end than down at the hub. Right, I think we are going to need to worry about more power, aren't we? I think there is still some oil up at the uh, other end that we haven't tapped into yet. So we'll be able to get a bit more power out of that. Hmm. Other than that, I'm not sure. I don't really want to go for the nuclear option just yet. Because I just, I, I just imagine that is going to produce way more problems than it solves in the short term. Um, obviously, none of our project parts will have been constructed yet. Because nothing's been working. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that's fine. That That's all good. Everything is now up and running again, so that's... That's good. Right, I will get back to the main hub, uh, and then I will catch up with where we are. Okay, here we are at the main base, back at the hub, and things seem to still be moving. The, the trains are moving. Everything's... well, I say everything's moving. We've got a backed-up line of supercomputers, of steel pipes, of stators, of uh, modular frames, uh, versatile frameworks... Yeah, so what we've got over here, what we put in uh, last episode, or the last couple of episodes, uh, we're making these assembly director systems for our um, space elevator phase. It's going to take a while because we need um, adaptive control units, which are being made over here, and they rely on automated wiring. Over here, what are we making? Magnetic field generators, which are the next thing for our um, space elevator project. Uh, they're producing pretty much fine. It should pick up a little bit now. We've, we'll have more batteries coming in now that the drones are flying again. At least I hope the drones are flying again. I see no drones. Oh, no, wait. I just saw a drone. There we are. There's a drone. Yeah, so the drones are flying again. Okay. So that's that. Uh, we are also making, I think... We are making those... Frame boxy things. Yeah, those things. In the top right. I have no idea what they're called. Hang on. Let me head back to uh, the hub, uh, and we can check what they are called. Oh, our, our pod is back. Hello. Okay, these things. Fused modular frames. Yeah, those. I'm pretty sure we're making those uh, up at the aluminium end, so let's go and have a look. These are producing nicely, so I will grab 50 of those, uh, and we will take those back with us uh, to unlock leading edge production. Um, how are we doing there? Plenty. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine with the supply, so that's okay. Um, nothing else seems to be blocked up at all. Uh, let's go and check our drone port. Let's see how we're doing over here. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, only six batteries in there. Um, not ideal, but not terrible. Oh, hush. Hush. 
what are you doing? You you just running away, are you? Okay. Um Okay, so that's 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 a steady supply. It's not a great supply, but it is at least steady and it is at least a supply. Uh we are still splitting off oh yeah, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, you know what? Let's help a little bit. I didn't really want to put it in the fuel, but you know. Let's put half in the fuel and the rest in the outgoing. That'll that'll keep it going. That's good. Right. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to go back to the hub so we can drop off these um, uh, milestone parts and unlock the next milestone. Right. Here we are at Hubbington Muse. Let's drop these, what are they, fused modular frames into there. And we will launch ourselves our little pod. And we'll be able to see if it actually Milestone bothers to come back this time. Turbo motors can now be constructed in order to build the latest Fixit improved factory buildings, such as the Miner Mark III. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Thank you very much. So yes, we'll be able to now build that thermal rocket thingy. Whatever it is. Uh, what did we just unlock? There we are. The thermal propulsion rocket is now going to be available for us. Which probably means we're going to be wanting to build turbo motors. Yeah. What do we need for that? Oh, good lord. Cooling systems, which we're not building. Radio-controlled units we are, uh, motors we are, rubber we are. Okay. So, cooling systems. Heat sinks and rubber and... Oh, good lord, what? Water and nitrogen gas. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Nitrogen gas we have plenty of. Um, not sure how close to water we are there, though. Uh, rubber, mm, okay. And heat sinks. They should be easy to produce, because we've got a lot of all clad and we've got a fair amount of copper. Okay, well that's that's something we can look at. Now, next episode, we are going to definitely look at increasing our supply of this automated wiring, because we talked about that last episode. Uh, and I actually did. Uh, let me go and show you. Because I'm, I'm, I actually did start to, um, to do something up there before the power went out. So let me go and uh, go and show you what we're doing there. Right, this is the machine in which we are producing our automated wiring. As you can see, we're currently producing at two hundred percent, and as you can see, it is the cables that were holding us up because they were being used for a lot of things, and that thing goes through quite a few cables. So what I did, if we come across here, we can see we've got a merger, and we have more cable coming in from over here, and I've got a little factory built. Isn't it sweet? So, miner, two smelters, uh, coming out into uh, four constructors, just churning out um, copper wire there, and into two constructors up here that are just churning out cable. So we've we've improved, in theory, our supply of those um, uh, that automated wiring. Whether it's going to actually help or not, I have no idea. Um, but next episode, we will maybe look to uh, setting up a different or, or an additional run for that. Uh, if we can get maybe some more um, wire coming in. Uh, it's not really building up as quickly as I'd like. So, next episode then, we will look at improving that supply. We've got plenty of uh, stators coming in. 
So that's not a problem. We can just drag off of that line uh, and build it up over here, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can really speed up, is there? We've got copper wire coming here being turned into cable. Uh, no, that's been turned into status there, is it? Yeah. And it's not really operating at full speed either. Hmm. We may need some power slugs. But we will leave it there for the... Oh, talking of power slugs, there's one over here. Hello, Monsieur Power Slug. Get in my pocket. Thank you very much. Right. I will leave it there for this episode. Thanks very much for uh, for watching. It has been, you know, kind of a a maintenance episode, but you need them every now and again, and especially when you build with so little planning and forethought as I do, you definitely need maintenance every now and again. Um, so thanks very much for watching. If I've made any grievous errors that can be relatively simply fixed, please let me know. If it involves, you know, tearing down a whole section that's taken me three episodes to build, I'm probably not going to do it. But, you know, you can let me know anyway. Just, just point out where I've gone wrong. And then in the next playthrough, I can maybe remember. Spoiler, I probably won't remember. But please do join us next time. Uh, again, thanks very much for watching. Please do give us a, uh, a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed the episode and you'd like to see more. Uh, please do check out the other videos on my channel. Please give me some suggestions for new games to play. I'm jonesing for something new. Um, and I can't really think of anything that I want to play. But if you can give me some suggestions, that would be great. Um, please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.